casual scale modeler here. So it's time to get back to the Mesher Smith. I know it's been a while, but I've been working on other stuff, board gaming miniatures mainly. Um, so, but I finally got a chance to get back to this thing. And so far, what I didn't see, I masked off everything. Um, and then I just sprayed the green. And for that, I use, I went out and bought the green. This is um, olive green as opposed to like an olive drab. Um, Tammy XF um, olive green. And so this was my first time actually using Tamiya acrylics, um, and I have to say that thinner, <laughs> the, the Tamiya thinner stinks. I was quite just taken back by that. So now we got to mask off the wings for the dark green sections, and for the dark green we're going to be using this old Badger Minotaur, or Model Flex color I have. I, I won a bunch of these paints um, through a contest, so I got a bunch of these old military colors, which I just don't use very much because most of my hobby time is more gaming. So the next step here is going to go ahead and mask off the areas that we're going to keep olive green. Using a little bit of Tamiya tape and some 3M Blue Maskers tape. So we've got to figure out which areas are going to be um, dark green. So the dark green is this. Okay, so, so the darker areas are the... So. That. Halfway through that. It's probably not going to be perfect. So I need to change this up a little bit here. But that's basically what we're going to do. We're just going to take the Tamiya tape and we're going to get this thing masked off here um, according to the directions. And at least as close as I can get, that is, because it's probably not going to be perfect. But I am, I'm not really striving for perfection here. I just want to have some fun building models. So. I'm going to go ahead and go through here and get this thing masked off and painted. And after I get the uh, dark green on here, that'll probably be the end of the airbrushing on here. I'll just have a little bit of brushing to do. So I'll come back when I get some dark green on it and see what it looks like. And we're back. And so I finished up everything. As you can see, I got the masking done and I got all the uh, spray on there and took all the masking off. And Wow, <laughs> I'm really impressed with how well everything worked out and how just amazing these wings look now. Um, they match up to the uh, painting guide pretty darn well. I think this line right here is a little bit off. Um, but other than that, uh, it came, came out great. Uh, and. I'm just, I'm just really just happy. Um, all the masking worked well. I didn't have any um, real overspray or, or places to touch up. And yeah, this thing is just, it's beautiful how well this came out. And what really guts me is there's, there's like no ridge between the paint colors. Despite there being three, I had to actually, I did three very light coats of the dark green. And there's like no ridge. You can't feel anything in the transition between colors, which is to me just astonishing. Um, but there's nothing there. So yeah, I am just happy as all can be. So we are really close to this on this project here. So I must have to do some brush painting. There's very little left to do. I have to do the canopy, of course, um, which I usually end up doing by hand, especially something this small. I'm not even trying to mask that. I'll just do that by hand with this light blue color. And that won't be a problem. I do it all the time. And I got some other little minor brush painting things to do. Um, I'll probably do something with the interior. There's there's really not much interior to it, so I'll probably just... And you can't see it through the canopy anyway, so I might just wash it and call it good. Um, yeah, and then there's some other little... There's a couple other little minor details I have to do to brush paint, and then i got a bunch of decals to do. So this, this project is incredibly close to being done. And also, while I had some brush, some paint in the airbrush, I went ahead and busted out one of my tiny tanks 
threw some paint on it. So I based it with the, uh, I, I doubt these particular tank um, ever came in, in this kind of color. And I said I got these, I have these mainly for airbrush practice anyway. So the base is the olive green and then I took the dark green as kind of um, free-handed a, a camo pattern on it. Um, again, mainly for airbrush practice and there's quite a bit of difference between spraying the just a normal acrylic paint and that Tamiya paint. Because while I had the Tamiya paint in there, I never really had a problem with the dry tip. But while I had used the standard acrylics, either the Vallejo, um, Testers, Games Workshop, whatever, I have to be constantly cleaning up the tip or put some drying retarder in there. The Tamiya paint, I didn't have that problem. So I don't know if it's just a slower drying paint than the other ones or what, but... Um, yeah, I might be getting more and more of the uh, Tamiya acrylics as time go on. But yeah, I'm really happy with how, how this guy came out. So he's just, he's not going to get, he's going to get some washing again. Washes and some weathering, some chipping here and there. But, you know, that's really way down the road project. I'm just happy to have paint on it. Plus I have to paint the tracks by hand. That's not going to be fun. So, yeah absolutely static with how well this thing is coming out okay so that's it for now uh, I'm gonna let this paint cure up a little bit for a couple days before I get back into it and I'm gonna get the brush painting done get the canopy done and I might even do some weathering on it I haven't decided yet so thanks for watching